This gym is quite amazing. Uh, what attracts you here? Why do you train here? Well, I'm, I don't know if you know, but I'm, I'm a part owner of the gym. Oh, I didn't so, know that. Yeah, this is part of my baby. So um, before there was no artwork, it was plain. It was just an empty warehouse and we had a few pieces of equipment. When I walked in, I was like, this is it, this is home. I grew up in dirty, small, hole in the wall gyms. That's just where I come from. You know, when, you know, it's just a bunch of serious guys. I was always a small guy wanting to keep up with the big guys uh -huh. and wanting to show them like, hey, I could do this too. So it's that type of environment in here. And a lot of people may be intimidated by the gym. It's loud. You're hearing people cussing and screaming and dropping weights, but it's a lot of good people in this gym. I can uh, see that. You know, and people motivate each other. If we see somebody squatting, getting a really heavy weight, we'll run over there and try to push them and yeah, motivate them. I saw that. In that type of environment, this place is very conducive to people like completely changing their like their their, their lives and fitness, health for the better. It's easier to do it here because you have a lot of like-minded people. You have a lot of specialists in every genre of what we call the iron sport. And beyond that, like, I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of my videos and CT yeah. videos. You know, this is coming from a pure place. It's like, I tell people all the time, the gym is not all about muscles. It's about this and this. So this is a good place, though, to practice working on that will, strengthening that human willpower and strengthening your mind, you know? Because I have a theory, is, and it's this. When you consciously put yourself through stressful circumstances, like in the gym, like a very difficult workout. Uh -huh. Like we got workouts called like the Iron Marathon. It's a bench press, 210 reps of 225. That's, it seems impossible. And the last time I, one, one time that I did it, you know, I got to probably 40 or 50 reps and felt like I couldn't go any further but I had to go to 210. I said, you know what, I'm gonna finish it. See, that strengthens you in other places. And yeah. that's, that's what we're about. If you had to name one uh, uh, favorite exercise for each muscle group, let's go through your whole body. For the chest, what's the, what's the favorite move? Bench press. Shoulders? Uh, a standing, either a barbell shoulder press or dumbbell shoulder press. Standing. For the back? Back, uh, see, I got a lot. Favorite. Either deadlifts or bent over rows. Barbell bent rows. over rows. Or right. pull-ups. Uh -huh. Old school pull-ups. All of them are favorite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, the arms. Triceps. I hate training arms. I hate <laughs> yeah. training arms. But for, for triceps, uh, skull crushers. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. uh, laying down yeah, flat? You lay, lay on, a, on a bench and you have an easy curl bar. Yeah, like French press. Right. Uh -huh. yeah, All right, uh, biceps. Basic curl. Okay, standing. Yeah. Barbell. Yeah, barbell. Uh huh. Heavy. Legs. Squats. 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 For real. Yep. What's the most that you that you squatted? Um, I've gotten a 430. I mean 535. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't typically go that heavy on squats. I usually go around 495 to 505 uh -huh. because I always do a what I call a fatality set mm -hmm. on squats. So that's a burnout or a drop set. So my progression is like this. I start at 135 for 10, mm -hmm. 225 for 10, 315 for 10, 405 for 8. Then I'll go straight to like 495 for two or three. Then I'll come down to three. It depends. If I do a heavy burnout, like I did yesterday, I did 365 uh -huh. for 16. I'm trying to get to 20. Uh, but for a while I've been doing just 315 for 20 mm -hmm. max reps. Mm -hmm. I go until I have to drop the weight. The bar All right.
What's next? <laughs> Some people like to have the weights handed to them. I gotta grab it. I gotta get the whole experience. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mike, no wonder you're so big, you know? Now I understand. <laughs> come, on. come on. Let's go, let's go. You want me to do this? I will not be able to lift them. Just try, just try. Just try? Can, just try. can you hold my wrist at least? I, I'll... Put them here. Huh? Put them here. I'll put them here. No, yeah. I know. Come on. 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 Still six. Be cool. Mike, first of all, I want to thank you for this uh, unbelievable experience. Oh, absolutely. For absolutely. you, for you, it's every day. <laughs> for me, it's something incredible. All right, all right. Rob. Yeah. Thank you for your help. You too, too. man. You too. We appreciate you. Hey. I want to say this. The good people of Russia, every person that I meet that's from Russia have exceptional, exceptional character. Are like really, really good people. The few people that I know from Russia are some of the best people I know. So y'all breed a special kind of person. Thank you. And I just want to acknowledge that. I mean it. Thanks, my man. Yeah. Thank you.